morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Uh, we're going to call this one uh, Fresno Friday Ford Block Repair. Um, the reason we call it the Fresno is because I've got Ray's garage shirt on and I've got the, the cap that we got from uh, the Fresno um, uh, hardware store when I was down there with Ray and, uh, and, and Randy and so forth a couple of years ago. Um, Anyway, so what, we, what we're doing, what we've got here is a block uh, from a, a Ford engine and um, we're, re we're doing a, re a thread repair on, um, on, the, on the stud holes for holding the head. Um, now there's a, there's a number of ways we can go about it, but what we're doing, we, what we normally do in these situations is use the time cert kit, uh, and that's, this is it here. That's, that's a time cert kit. It comes a complete kit. I've, I've uh, uh, shown those before. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're drilling, tapping and, ins and fitting in these inserts. Um, and they, these are 30 millimeter long. These are the longest you can get. And they suit those uh, bolts. I've got um, Troy here helping me out today on some machining work and and one thing and another, and that's a, that's a separate um, thing to show. But anyway, to, to make this short, not too long-winded, the the, the um, kit itself comes with a plate, and this is a plate for standard um, uh, standard engine blocks. And because it's got the slots in the different ways, uh, you can fit it to almost any block. And I'll, I'll show that in a minute. The part of, part of that. Um, set up is the hole that you go to drill and tap is this this large hole here and it has it has a bush that goes in and a a dowel pin with a taper and that's for locating the hole that you go to drill and then once that's located and tapped in place we then pick up two bolts uh, into the existing threads or the new threads um, and we take this this uh, dowel pin out and we then use the, the, the drill reamer that is supplied. Um, that's a drill reamer. So this, what this does is it, it goes down, it drills the diameter that we need uh, for, um, for the tapping and the clearance here. And that fits in down through that dowel bush. Uh, and what we do is we set the depth to the depth we want uh, to to go down. Although with the drilling and the way this reamer has been made, uh, it if, when it hits the bottom, it doesn't go any further. It can't over drill. Well, that's the beauty of this particular item. It's well thought out. It works well. It's got nice big flutes. Uh, when you're working in this in situ, like I was doing the other day, and using this to do a very similar block repair, um, then what you find is as you're drilling down, the um, uh, the the cuttings come up and they, and they can push the drill back up again. It needs to be taken out clean, blown, blown out and drilled a few times to get that right. Once that's done, the next stage is with a tap. Once again we do the same thing. We, we set the taps to the, de the required depth. That goes into the dowel, into the, the dowel bush and that guides it down. Um, and then after that we have we have the time cert applicator, uh, which is this fella here, uh, and it's longer because it's of the depth, and it will also, um, you can also use that guide bush, but uh, once, once you've drilled and tapped, this is going to follow. So what we do is we use their supplied oils, um, the, the oil that comes with the, with the kit, but it can be any engine oil, uh, we use that and we oil, we oil this applicator up there. This applicator actually is like a, like a thread, a roll thread uh, tap. It's the same, it's got these um, flats on it uh, and so forth. And what you do is you, 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 um, you, you put the, the thread insert onto it, uh, apply some uh, Loctite and then you screw it down and you keep screwing until it gets very hard and then it goes loose. That's when you've actually, uh, the applicator has actually spread the insert into the aluminium block. So, we'll just go ahead and quickly show you um, 
the one we're doing here, this is the last of the ten, the ten holes uh, that we've um, that we're repairing. I'll just drop that down. Oh, hold on. Say hello to uh, our mate here. He's oh, part of the chain gang. <laughs> That's Troy, and he comes along sometimes uh, uh, to assist me, and uh, that really helps me out um, a lot. So we're going to come in closer. I'll just drop that down a fraction, and we'll go ahead and. Um, I, I should stop this American talk. We're, we're going to do the job. We're not going ahead anywhere. We're staying here. Um, so, without further ado, we'll start uh, the, the process. Of, the first is drilling it. And by doing it on the, the milling machine, we don't have to um, we don't have to use the guide bushes and everything. We've, all we have to do is to bring it into the zero, and I've zeroed this already on the, um, I've set it up and it's now zero. I'm just bringing it in on the DRO. Um, use kerosene, that's what we use. You could use uh, uh, many other types of uh, thin drilling files. I'm running about 350 RPM. The, as we introduce it down, the smaller diameter uh, is clear, it's running down, and the larger diameter will now start to cut. That's, that's the clearance drilling. And as we progress down, the smaller diameter will also start to drill, because it's got to drill the thread out with different threads. So we'll go down about halfway, we'll pull that, and, uh, and clear the swarm. tendency to build up below as well because it's, it's falling through um, and then you end up with a, a, a dead pocket or a plug at the bottom so it's not allowing you to do the full drilling. We're going all the way to that stopper that I made. So in this case we're doing it three times. When, when you use the kit uh, as site uh, you've got to drill it, you've got to do it a lot more times because it doesn't have the ability to throw the, the swarf out through the dowel and so forth. I think, I think we're going to run out. We might have to put the compressor on, you'll have to bear with that. Um, without it, we're not going to get this job done. It's actually going to take four times because that is locked up to the left. There's still some bits down the bottom. It's not letting it go all the way. I'm hitting rejection there. Go. We've got that. Unlock. Shift to the side. We now change out to the tap. Both of these have the same shank, and the reason they've got the same shank is is they fit that one dowel, dowel bush. So it's easy with the ER40 collet, it's almost a no-brainer for getting that right. So we'll go back to zero, we'll lock the table up, and we'll see that slides through. 
I set, set my handle where I want it, reduce the speed down. I'm running about 140, 150 RPM. Just shift the camera because you're not going to be able to see now. Um, shift the camera down a bit. Maybe take it out a fraction. And we'll clear that. One more caro. A number, a number six Australian made wrench. It's not a starret, but it works as good. Once again, the number six Australian made tap the handle, or wrench, or spanner, or whatever you like to call it. That's it, we've got rejection. Take it away. Bring it out. Give it a good blow job. All clear, there's nothing below there, stuck in there. So now we're going to use the roll tap applicator. Put some oil on there. Screw that in. Sometimes these go a bit easier, sometimes they don't. It doesn't matter uh, because once we start screwing it down, it, it, we're going to bring that that applicator's got to go all the way to the end, which is rejection um, on on the bottom of that. So we we'll just put a bit of red stuff. I need a lot, but it quite often in the time certs, as against a coil type, you really don't need the um, because. Uh, the, you don't you don't need the Loctite. This is a 266. That's what comes with it. But uh, you don't need the Loctite because you're actually spreading the uh, the flutes the the the, um, the threads out into the aluminium block. Um, uh, this being a Ford, so it's probably an aluminium block. So that spins down there, that's taking it all the way down, that's 30 mil. Now it's going a bit hard, and then, then it'll come easy. It's going to go a lot easier. I've hit rejection, that's the end of the job. Um, so she's, she's a bit tight coming out, not too bad. Um, and that should be the end of that, that's the end of the job. There's a bolt over there somewhere. Um, I, al I always check every single time I put a, uh, I do a thread repair. I always check it. Um, these, these are the bolts. Um, 
they've got a, a cap screw head at the end, an old key head at the end. Uh, an M11 by 1.5, that's the standard. And this is an M10 by 1.5, or 1.25 at the top. So that should, that should spin down there without a problem. So there we go. Thank you for watching. We'll be back.